Well, hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own Undone Redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Undone Redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 3rd of September. I'm James Spann. A cold front passing through Alabama today. That'll provide drier air for the rest of the week. Still a few storms possible this morning. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured early at about 5 o'clock. That's a look at Tuscaloosa. Things are quiet there. Up north, there's a look at the Tennessee River at Decatur. And to the south, the Edmund Pettus Bridge over the Alabama River at Selma. Yeah, you can see that drier air beginning to nose into North Alabama, those darker shades. The deeper moisture is basically along and south of Interstate 59, where it's got a big trough in the east, ridge in the west. And uh, that pattern's going to set up really dry weather after today for the rest of the week and maybe beyond that. Ooh, it feels good up north. Cook, Minnesota was at 36 degrees at 5 o'clock. Uh-huh. And no, it's not going to be like that here, but nights will be a little cooler and the humidity values during the day will be lower. And I think everybody will like that. Severe weather just not happening for a while. And this kind of a pattern, and this is the rain uh, for the next few days, and uh, this is suggesting the better amounts down south. And again, for us, we might catch a storm this morning, but uh, really, uh, after today, rain chance is very small for a while. Tropical weather. Got uh, some disorganized waves out there across the Atlantic Basin, but again, this is the one of the slowest starts to a hurricane season on record. It's just not happening. Uh, initially, we had subsidence and dry air. It seems like the subsidence problem is kind of fading away, but the dry air lingers. Uh, that wave that's uh, trying to get into the Caribbean, if it develops, that's going to recurve. We all know that because of the big trough over the eastern U.S., Models uh, turn that thing north way before reaching the United States. In fact, before reaching the Bahamas. Although some of the models do try and ramp this thing up, they've had a horrible performance uh, you know, history this year. They've tried to ramp up everything out there, and none of them have developed. But we'll keep an eye on that. But again, for us, no tropical woes or really serious weather woes anytime soon. Nice and quiet. Here's the GFS. This is the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock today. Got a 594 heat bubble on the New Mexico-Colorado border. Nice trough over the east, and down below that, the drier air begins to move in. This is the high-res NAM at 7 o'clock this evening, and it's suggesting maybe a few showers along or just south of Interstate 20, but I really think uh, if any showers form later today, they're going to be down south, where you see the uh, uh, colors down there in south Alabama. For the northern half of the state, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, and north, We've got a window for maybe a shower this morning, and that'll be about it. Tomorrow, we are in dry air. Any showers confined to the south. Now, the high will be in the upper 80s. You know, the highs during the day won't be that much cooler, but the humidity will be noticeably lower, and the nights will be cooler. This is Thursday. Lows should be well down in the 60s, and a good chance the cooler spots reach the uh, upper 50s. Here's Friday. Great day for high school football. No rain. Go to Saturday as we kick off the weekend. Back in the upper levels, you got the uh, upper high that's over the Plain States. Got a northerly flow aloft here, and again, just not much happening. You know, there's evidence that maybe moisture tries to come back, but quite frankly, looking at that, the chance of rain is so small, it's not even worth the mention. And the same thing on Sunday. Highs for the weekend, I'd say 87 to 90, which is about where we should be for uh, the early part of September. And we do note that low in the Atlantic, well east of the Bahamas, a 1,008 millibar low. That's a little system trying to get its act together, and it's just having a hard time. Go to Monday. We're still dry for the most part. And Tuesday, you might mention isolated showers. So it's a nice, calm pattern for a while. But hey, September 15th, the GFS ramps up a big old tropical system in the western Gulf. And the following day, it moves it into uh, uh, just below Galveston. Of course, this is, you know, a fairy tale out here, the land of voodoo, but... We'll see if something like that can happen. And then on the 18th, the end of the forecast, had a really large uh, omega-looking block thing setting up. A big cool trough over the northeast and the northwest with ridging in between. And for us, that would uh, suggest kind of a stalled surface boundary around here and maybe some risk of showers. So 
We'll just see as we go. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. They'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. We're back on the two-a-day schedule. And if you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.